Hey, what's up guys? I'm an XNL and in this video we are going to be unboxing the Goofone i6 Plus. So now, let's get at it. Okay, so starting off with the box, it is exactly like the original one. As you can see on the side, it says iPhone and you have the little Apple logo. And on the front, you can see kind of have the shape of the iPhone 6 Plus. While on the other side, you have the thing. And we take a look at the back, you can see that it says 64 gig, but I'm pretty sure that this version is the 16 gig version. And you can also see the color, the IMEI, as well as other information. And something that is different from this box to the original one is actually the font, as the font on this one seems to be a little bit darker. Okay, so now when we go on with the actual unboxing, you can see that the first thing we get is the phone, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put this aside for now. That the next thing we get is actually kind of the uh, enclosure where we can find uh, the SIM tool as well as the manual. But what is great this time is that it didn't um, have a lot of papers, as you can see, just like two flimsy papers and it just tells you the basic instructions of the phone like how to open it and what the button serves for and now the next we have is the 8 pin lightning connector as you can see it is exactly just like the original one and now the next one we have is actually the wall charger and it doesn't seem to have any of apple logos or it doesn't even say apple on it so it seems like it's just um, a cheaply made wall charger and last but not least, we have um, the Apple EarPods, sorry, or at least a good copy of them. As you can see, uh, the EarPods at the interior seems to be a little bit blue, and on the back, it don't even have the Apple logo. Okay, so now let's finally take a look at the Goofone i6 Plus. So as you can see, when we take a look on the right side, we have the power button, and just under it, you have the place where you can put in your Nano SIM card. And on top you have for sure nothing and when we go on the left side I mean on the front we have the camera the light sensor as well as the speakerphone and now on the left side you have the mute button and just below it you have the volume up and the volume down and when we take a look at the bottom of the device we have the lightning connector a microphone as well as the speakers. At the back you have the camera, the reset part, as well as the two-tone LED flash and at the bottom it also says iPhone and for sure you have the golden Apple logo. So now let's finally go ahead and boot up the device. And as you can see we do have um, the black Apple logo on a white background because this is the gold phone and if you go with the space gray version you'll have um, the white Apple logo with the black background. Okay, so as you can see this was the first boot and as my first impression the screen is way better than I expected and it seems to me like it is better than on the Goofone i6 that I got a couple months back. You can see you can also double tap on the home button without really clicking it and it will do just like on the original and you can have like two screens basically. You can see that this is um, the phone app, you can do calls but I don't have my sim card right now, I have to test it out later. And now checking out the camera, it is nothing really great for sure because of the price. They try to keep the cost of the material as low as possible. And as you can see from the front camera again, it is nothing too serious. The quality isn't that great. And just taking a general look at the OS, it definitely isn't the best. I've seen way better modded version of iOS on other phones. And actually on MIUI V6, they have a way better uh, modded version of iOS when you go into the team shop. But as a general idea, they were able to mimic the OS uh, pretty good. As you can see when I put the phone sideways, uh, all the icons go sideways more or less pretty quickly. And now let's test out um, the touch ID that seems to be on this device. So you need to put a passcode for sure just in case it doesn't work. But it isn't the real touch ID so for sure it isn't gonna work. So as you can see just place your finger a couple of times and it will scan it. And now when we go ahead and test it out, as you can see, it does work, but the catch is, is that it works with any finger, so any fingerprint. So now I'm going to try it with my index finger, you can see it, it did work. So it isn't really the best way to secure a phone, and you should just stick with the normal passcode. Okay, so I guess that this is it for this video. If you have any questions, well, make sure you leave them down below. I'll make sure to answer them. And if you want me to do a test in particular with this phone, make sure you leave them down below. But for sure, I'll have a video where I pair up the A Watch A8 with the Goofone i6 Plus, and I'll also do a comparison video where I'll compare the fake with the authentic iPhone 6 Plus. 
So make sure you follow me on Twitter at the next nail HPLA and on Instagram at the next nail. And also don't forget to check out my Facebook page. I'll have the link down below. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps out. Peace.